What's up guys, uh, welcome back to a new video, Nui Entertainment here. Um, today is going to be on a graphics card, um, the new GTX 1070 from MSI. Um, here it is, in all its glory. Nice. It's a good looking card actually, um, great looking. Um, the stats are meant to be amazing on it, it's meant to be a great card. But unfortunately at the minute, there's some problems with it. Um, there's some problems with lagging, um, it's not just us. Uh, experiencing this. Um, we've got the forum in the background and apparently loads of people are experiencing it. Um, so it's not good. We mainly play Dota and it's literally to the point where you're running on the spot. So basically, for anyone who plays Dota out there, it's a bad, bad game. Um, you also play WoW. Nasty, yeah. yeah. I don't play WoW, but you play WoW. Yeah. Apparently you used to optimise it slightly. Yeah, to make it a little bit a little, little bit. Better, not a yeah. complete fix. No, it's not, no. Um, but there are a few things that people have said on the forums, uh, we just got from Googling, um, yeah. that may help you and may improve it, but I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed fix. Huh? Right, so, uh, as you can see in, in the background here, we've got the forum of the new update, it's the uh, new 372.54 update, just there you can see. It's a driver display update, and uh, people have said this is going to the, provide the fix. Uh, I can confirm it, it, it doesn't really do that at this point and apparently people are now saying that the next driver update is going to provide the fix so we'll just stay tuned it's going to be coming later this week we'll just see what's happening and if that provides the full fix then fantastic That'd if not good. then uh, well, you're nasty this is unfortunate yeah it is it's but there are some things you can do there are some things you can do in the meantime that may help it. Like we say, isn't a complete fix, no. but may just improve your gameplay. Yeah, so let's start. For example, if you uh, go to your desktop like this, close that shit, um, and go to your NVIDIA control panel, and then let that load. Manage 3D settings, down to power management mode, make sure that's on prefer maximum performance, and apply that. Was this a popular fix? Yeah, this is. Uh, it was coming up on quite a lot. Yeah, forums, this is this what one. everyone said. It must have, must be on all the time. So this is kind of a must do. Yeah. Fix. Yeah, even if you're not having a problem and you're lucky, do it anyway. You need to be on preferred maximum performance. Yeah. If you aren't getting this problem, you are very lucky. Yeah, you are. I feel lucky good. And I, you're nasty as well. I'm very I jealous. Say, yeah. yeah. Um, another thing that people have come up with is reverting back to old drivers. For example, uh, the driver 368.81, um, which is a driver before the hotfix driver, which was 368.95. That hotfix driver was meant to sort out all the DPC lag and latency, but it didn't really. <laughs> it's pretty horrendous. Uh, apparently, it did for some people. It didn't for me though, so you know. So if you're the lucky um, one, then do try that because it may yeah, be the fix for you. The fix, like we say, yeah. it, it might vary for people. Yeah. So it's really interesting reading the the forums. I would recommend if you do have these problems, you just come on to the Nvidia um, forums, and then how how you get onto these is just uh, if you go to community. Oh yeah, that's really good. That is. Oh yeah, there right is there. Nvidia forums. And then here's the popular topics. So this is the new one that we we're just looking at, the new drivers. Someone's and here you go. Three minutes ago. Yeah. So someone else has posted on it. Be really interesting. Read this. And what you do find is, every time they release a new driver update, you get the odd person who drops out and says, "Oh yeah, it's fixed it for me now." Still seeing loads of people with the problems though. So like I say, you might get lucky and one of the drivers might fix your problems. But yeah, not likely at this point. It's not been well. We've, anyway, we've tried. Like, we've literally yeah. tried everything. Uh, the amount of times we've uninstalled and downloaded uh, all new drivers. Yeah. We tried this. We tried that. Uh, like I say, wow, we we got it to uh, you know not lag as much. Yeah. To, to the point where you can play quite happily. Yeah. But can, Dota, yeah. which yeah, is like the biggest one, yeah, it's still really running on the spot. Yeah. And it's, it's just awful. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's literally not basically fun. you're a man down on the team. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's, it's not good. Not whatsoever. good. Um, so yes, that's a uh, that's another way to do, deal with it. Um, one thing that must be pointed out, which is a mistake I made, and that I was corrected by by many people, is when I, when I saw the lag coming, I thought, oh, lower the settings immediately, try and get rid of the lag. Actually, I found that with Wow, the wire optimized it has actually maxed out the settings 100%, oh. and that actually got the GPU under a 99% load. 
and therefore kept it steady because the problem that I was getting with this latency, this DCP, uh, DPC latency, was that um, when I went into the game, the usage would spike, and when the usage, the GPU usage spiked, so did my FPS, and that was causing the FPS spike. Uh, it was right. horrendous performance, really bad. So, so it's actually instead of loading all your um, like graphics and all that, is actually just yeah, to boost so get it all up. to the max. And, ah, right. and get the GPU under a full load, and then I. I didn't see any any spiking. Whereas when I went and played Dota, it's very interesting. When I played WoW on absolute maximum settings, I did actually get the GPU under full load. However, with maximum settings on Dota, I could only get it under 30%, and it fluctuated violently because of that. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering whether having having you know playing newer games, which I don't have that many of to be honest, so I might need to try this, is actually better because you're getting the GPU under a higher higher percentage yeah, of what's load. I think there was something we read about um, the new No Man's Sky game. Uh, yeah. That a new driver that came out apparently was uh, this one was just a fix for that. Yeah, that's it. Apparently yeah. that is now fixed, yeah, and that's obviously a brand it, yeah. new game that's come out. Yes, that's right. Yeah, this so, is. A... And I'm assuming that's going to be a quite popular one. So if you do have that game, then this, this driver is, the, this is, is the apparently the you, fix yeah. for that. Should say something, but anyway, yeah, yeah this is the driver. It, it, what, I swear it was this one. It was the newest uh, one. Out, and I think a few people on the forum were talking about it. Yeah. No, I can't, but, can't find it. But yeah, this is. I think this. Oh, here you go. Sorry, here you go. At the that's top, right in front of my face. Yeah, this drive. This driver provides optimal experience for No Man's Sky. Oh, there you go then. And a few other games as well. Yeah. Cool. But I know No Man's Sky yeah. is brand new yeah. out, so. So they are. They are releasing the drivers. You know, steady to, to help to have these problems. So that's one way to do it. Um. Other than that, the only other things I've seen is people talking about a, f a fresh clean install, so using DDU, so driver and installer in safe mode, uninstalling all their drivers and reinstalling them. And one thing loads of people said when we saw loads time is just to install. Just install the one driver. Yeah, the, the, yeah. the display driver, not all the other things, yeah. which I have tried and that didn't work for me, but you it know. It was a long process because yeah, uninstalling everything. Process. The amount of restarts you have to do, so yes. don't be afraid. You are going to have to do a few restarts oh, yeah, and loads, then yeah. install just the one driver. Uh, like I say, if that works for you, absolutely brilliant but again it hasn't worked for us so yeah. you're not the only one out there that has tried several different things and yeah, it's still not still working, not working yeah. still in the exact same yeah. position we, we really are waiting like i say these are just things that can help you we're really waiting for the fix it's down to the video to fix the drivers to fix the problem yeah. via drivers one thing that i can also suggest to do um is if you can use latency mon and msi afterburner so i'll just get them up since we're here yeah um so if we can you just run latency run and then this will this will actually check your latency so if we actually run it i'll do a demonstration oh, yeah. it checks now if this goes red then there's a problem with uh you know with, with, with your with your dpc latency which is all very good now if you're seeing problems while you're idle like now i mean we're not quite idle but we are pretty much there's yeah. no game running then there's a big problem there but it's, it's when the game's game. running um, that you get the problem. However, this isn't meant to be run when games are running, so I'm not really sure how you're actually meant to yeah, test it. You, you can't run it on game. That. Yeah. Another thing that's definitely worth using is uh, MSI Afterburner, and to have that running all the time when you're playing a game. So you can keep tabbing out. So you can, look. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you can check the temperature, the power, um, the GPU usage. Yeah. That's the most important one. And you can see now, you can, you can see now it fluctuating. Yeah. It's fluctuating quite. Oh, yeah, it's it is. not really doing anything, yeah. and it shouldn't really, it shouldn't ever really be doing that at all. I assume this just, honest. this will just allow you, so, especially when you're playing games, just to actually pinpoint yeah, where the problem, at, is, where the yeah. problem is. So that might help you and then as if, well. If, if you are getting these problems, just like I say, if you could use those two programs and then actually post them on the forums, your results, it really helps the developers and everyone else understand. Yeah. So later today, I'm going to run loads of tests and actually post them up. To help everyone, you know, we, we can all understand then and hopefully get to a fix a bit quicker. No. Yeah, well, yeah, hopefully fix it. I'd say the biggest frustration, if anything, is um, the fact we had to wait. Well, it's actually your graphics card. Yeah. Um, the fact that you, you've had to wait ages because Amazon's been out of stock oh, for yeah, so long. The supply is trickling. Yeah, I think you've rubbish, had to wait yeah. two, weeks, three, yeah. three weeks. Um, just to for somewhere to get in stock, yeah. and then you get it, you set it all up, and it now it's got these problems. Yeah, it's, it's just really annoying. Yeah, it's, it's just really um, frustrating. Annoying. Yeah, it is. 
yeah so yeah. hopefully the next driver makes the fix but until then you know I'd recommend just trying a few of these little fixes like I said you know I can't really talk for many games because I don't play that many games but like I say for example for WoW for me Popular it was basically games. smack yeah. it all on max if you're playing that yeah uh, Dota I don't have a clue if you know how to fix Dota let me know yeah please probably. yeah because well, I can't fix it so yeah. <laughs> what we'll do is we'll pop the um uh, like well not fixes but ways to try and solve it in yeah. the description just so you guys can see exactly what we've done um, instead of going back through the video and trying to hear us say it because that can be a bit irritating but um, hopefully that one of them fixes it for you as of for us we're still in this position um, but yeah if anyone actually does have a fix you can comment on the video yeah. or even comment in the forum so we can then see because we're going to be on that a lot to try and fix it um, that would be really helpful actually yeah it would be yeah. but yeah until um, till next time then guys uh, hopefully it fixes it for you if not I'm um, sorry yeah. and hopefully they release something that helps it yeah because we can't wait to get it running so when we do we're going to do a video of the whole spec of the PC because we've got yeah, a really got nice a big, PC yeah. running now with that in there but it doesn't work because the graphics card yeah. drivers don't work so when we get that all fixed up that'd be great yeah we'll, we will we'll bring some specs and uh some benchmarking and all sorts of good stuff yeah. for you. Yeah, I think yeah, we probably will do another video on the just like the specs of the card and more in detail of the card, not yeah. what the problems are of yes. the card. Yeah. So you can just see is it worth getting when they fix it, obviously. Yeah. But um, so, till next time, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, see you next time. See you next time.